continues to battle Donald Trump, Steve Bannon and Sean Spicer, <laughs> there's one dragon that they cannot slay, <laughs> Kellyanne Conway, the counselor to the president and the woman who brought us this. Sean Spicer, our press secretary, gave alternative facts. <laughs> I'll never forget where I was <laughs> when I heard that statement. I was on the moon. <laughs> you can't prove that I wasn't. <laughs> For more analysis of Kellyanne Conway, we turn now to The Daily Show's resident liar, Michelle Wolf, everybody. Thank you, Trevor. It's great to be here. Was, was that a lie? No. Was that a lie? Yes. I, I don't even know how this works. Okay, anyway, Michelle, it feels like Kellyanne Conway has been poking away at the media for months, culminating in her latest statement about the Bowling Green Massacre. Okay, well, first of all, she hasn't been poking at the media. She's been chewing them up, spitting them out, <laughs> on them, then lighting them on fire and leaving them on their own doorstep. <laughs> and frankly, I find it damn impressive. Well, I, well, no, no, I'm sorry, impressive? Oh, she's so good at it. I wish I had her talent. When she's done talking, I don't know if my mouth is my ass or my ass is my mouth. I mean, she's got a playbook. And of course, like a porn star, she only has like four or five moves. But I still love watching her give it to people. One of my favorites is shifting blame. Will Donald Trump release anything from the IRS proving that he's under audit? I don't know. Why? In other words, why, why are you, are you calling him taking, a liar? Well, we're taking his word for it. Are you calling him a liar? And we're taking Hillary Clinton's word for it that she was overheated and didn't have pneumonia or that she's going to be aspirational uplifting or she's going to start talking to the press again. I mean, seriously, we're going to, we're running against a Clinton and we're going to challenge someone's veracity. Okay, so we started at Donald Trump's tax return. <laughs> And we ended at Hillary lying about pneumonia? <laughs> Kellyanne can get out of anything by shifting blame to someone else. She should be a lawyer. She should be Bill Cosby's lawyer. <laughs> the trial would be 15 minutes and the jury would come out angry at Mariah Carey's sound guy. <laughs> and I know, I know, I know a lot of you are like, I could never do this. And you're right, because you have a soul. <laughs> but Kellyanne, she doesn't. She's my no soulmate. <laughs> so just move all your hate aside, all of it. And because once you stop hating, you can appreciate the artistry. Like here's another one of her moves, something I call fake truth, real problem. See, you make up a lie and before anyone can refute it, cloud the discussion with real facts about a devastating, unrelated issue. And then Penny Nieto, I don't have to tell you, canceled his visit this week. That was mutual. The president suggested it first on Twitter. They had a meeting scheduled for Tuesday. You don't. Th you think that's a good thing? It's a great thing that they spoke for an hour. I'll tell you what's not a great thing. Here's not a great thing. It's not great that we have a $60 billion trade deficit with Mexico. It's not great that they allow, because there is no border, there is no, there is no respect of our sovereignty in this country, Chris. You know who I want Fox News to go interview? Go interview all those parents who have, left, who have lost children to opiate use. canceled meeting and I raise you a heroin epidemic? <laughs> this is amazing! I mean, for decades, politicians have been bull on TV, but Kellyanne Conway has changed the game. She's like when black guys started playing basketball or when steroids started playing baseball. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings me to this past weekend, because she did something that can only be described as the beautiful lie. It was her fib de resistance. I bet there was very little coverage. I bet, I bet it's brand new information to people that President Obama had a six-month ban on the Iraqi refugee program after two Iraqis came here to this country, mm. were radicalized, and there were the master, masterminds behind the Bowling Green Massacre. Well, Most people don't know that because it didn't get covered. That was like a roller coaster of contradiction. She said, we didn't invent the ban, Obama invented the ban. And the reason Trump needed a ban is because Obama didn't have a ban, which is why Obama couldn't prevent the very real Bowling Green massacre, but Trump will. Come on! <laughs> 
It's like in, if Inception was a sentence. <laughs> well, Michelle, I, I mean, I hear you and you're right, but I don't think we should be celebrating Kellyanne Conway and a lie about a fake massacre. Oh, you don't think we should be celebrating Kellyanne Conway, but you want to celebrate a Patriots win at the Super Bowl? A celebration you're having while kids are starving and dying on the streets of Chicago, <laughs> who are, of course, being ignored by a media that is covering them too much? How dare you, Trevor? And on the anniversary of the Louisville slugging. I, I'm, <laughs> wait, I'm, whoa, I'm sorry, wait, what? Wait, no, wait, what? What just happened? You just got conway <laughs> Hey there, it's The Daily Show's Trevor Noah. We have our own YouTube channel now, so uh, please do subscribe. Uh, I'll, I'll wait so you can... I won't even look, just because I know that's weird. It's sort of like when a dog's doing its thing. You can just... Yeah, just subscribe. I won't, I won't look.